Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. I promise you I'll make it fairly brief. Uh, after I graduated college, I spent three months uh, living on a small island in the central Philippines called Malapascua. To get to Malapascua, you have to take a flight into the main city called Cebu. And from there you take about a five hour bus ride. And from there you take about a 45 minute boat ride to this small island of less than a thousand people. It's mostly a fishing community. There's a handful of scuba divers at any given time that go there to see the thresher sharks. Um, anyways, I spent three very life-changing months on this small island working and living around people that make between a dollar and two dollars a day, are sleeping on straw mats and are supporting um, families and raising children and living uh, some of the most happy and joyful lives I've ever seen. Uh, last week, the super typhoon um, actually cross over through the central Philippines and the path which you'll see in a photo is uh, directly over the island of Melapascua. This uh, super typhoon had winds up to 195 miles per hour and absolutely decimated the area, um, the Visayas and Cebu and just north of there and then Melapascua as well. Uh, I, I do have some pictures that I'll put on the screen uh, but this small fishing community as I said of very simple structures and, and, and very simple houses um, really felt the brunt force of this hurricane, or this typhoon, excuse me. Um, and, and just some really sad pictures and stories coming out of there. They still don't have communications and um, I'm just kind of waiting to hear some word from some friends and some contacts that I know that live on the island and are working on the island. Um, so anyways, as it relates to us, um, the disappointing thing about Malapascua is it's so uh, remote from the mainland. So obviously any aid and assistance is going to start in the main city of Cebu and head out from there. And so a five hour uh, bus ride followed by a 45 minute boat ride is just about as far as you can get from that main city. Um, so I'm sure that the help that they provide is not going to come uh, very quickly and um, you know it's going to be kind of last on the list of a place for them to help and those that are offering relief and aid uh, that's going to be one of the last places they go. Um, so what I've done, I've actually set up a um, fundraising account on Fundly. Uh, real easy to get to if you just go to helpmalapascua.org. You can submit any uh, funds that you can spare. Um, you know, these people make between one dollar and two dollars a day as I said, sometimes less. Um, so one dollar, two dollars, five dollars, twenty dollars is going to go a long way. So don't think because you don't have a lot to uh, lot to give that you can't help. I will promise you that by supporting uh, this island and these people, um, you're doing something for them that they number one can't do for themselves, and uh, you're supporting a place that is going to be very much overlooked when it comes to the relief effort. Uh, so I'll definitely give you updates along the way. And I appreciate any questions or any concerns or any thoughts that you have about this. And uh, please show your support as best you can. Thank you so much. And my faith will be made strong.